Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete locked files and folders on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you're trying to delete a folder or file that, that is unable to delete, first thing I'd actually recommend doing, just right click on your desktop and select refresh. There's a potential that it's already been deleted. They just have to refresh the desktop in order to make it visible. Same would go for files and folders too by refreshing within the folder. It might also clear that out once you've deleted it. So try that first. Second thing you can try would be to use a third party application for this, which is a free program. And it's going to be called Unlocker. So we're going to go ahead and open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one. And in the Google, we're just going to search up Unlocker Download. Just search for that. One of the best results should come back with Unlocker 1.9.2 for Windows. Might be a newer version at the time of you watching this video, but should be from uptodown.com or unlocker.english or .en.uptodown.com. Going to go ahead and select the latest version download button here. Came out about a year and a half ago, so. I mean, this shouldn't really make much of an impact here. Windows 10 to Windows 10, and it looks like it supports earlier versions of Windows as well. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and download this application. Not very big; it's only about a megabyte in size. Once it's done downloading, we're going to go open up the compressed folder and extract the contents. We're going to go ahead and open up. Looks like I might have missed it here, so let me go ahead back in here and open it up. We're going to use File Explorer to open it and close out of here and here we go we got the application listed right here go ahead and double click on it to open it up select yes if you receive a user account control prompt select whatever language is applicable for you guys and then select ok select next I agree and we're going to select the advanced option and I'm going to uncheck these options you don't have to do that but I do not want to install any toolbars, so I'm going to keep those options unchecked. Select Next. I'm going to keep the destination folder the same. Next again. And we are going to click on Install. And you can remove this program once we're done too. There's no reason you have to keep it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select Finish. And it should open up automatically. And if not, you can just go open up through the Start menu search. Start on Locker Assistant. That's the name of it. I'm going to go ahead and just click on it to open it up. And let's take it down in our system tray that it is running here. So just give it a moment here. Looks like it has to open up. Okay, so you can see this is browser files and folders. I have this folder on my desktop, so I'm just going to navigate over to that. And then I'm going to go down and select the folder, the name of the folder, which just happens to be folder in this case. I'm going to select OK. And it's going to ask, uh, choose the action you want to perform on the object. Click inside the drop down here. I'm going to select delete and then I'm going to select OK. And there you go. It should say the object was deleted. And you can see it should end up in our recycling bin. And that should be about it. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.